hey guys what's up this is the last video of 2020 and um yeah i decided to put makeup on <laughs> my face i've not put makeup on my face in like a really really long time and someone on tiktok yesterday told me that i've really let myself go since i become engaged even though i became engaged right before christmas which is the time people let themselves go okay i have a chin hair here and i get like can't see it like i'm literally not literally blowing mm. i'm about to bring these in the car with me the car is where i can see my chin hairs um yeah it's the end of 2020 and I thought I'd just put something on my face. That comment like low-key kind of affected me because I was kind of like, because I, you know, you already feel bad about yourself. Like, mm. the flex though, future Mrs. Hackman. Yes, I'm already that, that bitch that's on Etsy. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I like, it like kind of got to me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like, oh, mm. so I'm putting makeup on my face. Thanks to that comment. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're like, obviously, well, I don't know if it's obvious, but we're getting ready to move. So like everything's kind of a mess here, which is also like, ugh, just why I haven't been motivated on like filming. Um, because like everything's just a mess and like my place wasn't always a mess. I know like lately, like if you see my place, you're probably like, oh my God, it's so messy. Like how can you live like that? But like it used to be like hella organized when I first moved in here. So when we move, definitely gonna hire like a full time housekeeper because like my lazy ass needs it. And then I feel like I'll be better organized. <sighs> but yeah. Wow, I look so much prettier already. Like if this does not, I need to get a more coverage. Oh, if you are an oily skin with a full coverage foundation, let me know. Not that I'd wear it every day, but when I wanna film, I want like a nice full coverage. And this just kind of doesn't do it for me like it used to, so. But yeah, thought I'd do one. Let's get ready with me. I obviously, I'm not that person that's like new year, new me. <laughs> like I do want to start like a diet, but like I want to start a diet like every couple weeks. So this is like not a new thing, but because it's New Year's, I'm like, yes, tomorrow is a new year, new me. So that lasts for like a couple of days and you know, then I'll be like, I did good. I deserve pizza for five days. Trigger warning, ED, but you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. <sighs> yeah, and this room has gotten hella dark because I kept the lights are out and I don't know how that happened. But I don't know. This is like the bare minimum I can do. Like on some real. I am so pale. Oh my goodness. Well, I covered my acne, so I guess that means I'm a little more attractive just by doing that simple step. <laughs> acne as an adult is a biatch, and I'm not just talking like a mid-20s adult. I'm a full-grown adult. I am engaged. I'm in my 30s. I bought a house. Like, I should not be having acne, but I do. But I know it's a diet, so don't come for me. <laughs> like, I know it's that. When I start eating good for, like, my music videos, my skin, like, miraculously clears up. Who would have thought? Mm. It always reminds me to drink water too. I'm like, let me actually drink some water real quick. So I got this Amazonian powder clay in a lighter shade so I could wear it on my lighter days. Ooh. Um, but yeah, 2020, what a year. Obviously, it's been a great year for me. I literally met, fell in love, and got engaged in 2020, which was pretty cool and it was literally thanks to quarantine like obviously quarantine not to be Vanessa Hutchins obviously it sucked like obviously nobody was having a good time but with the pandemic but I we were able to basically bond so quickly and then we had like a little bit of quarantine lifted um like we were able to kind of have like a little like a bit of normal life we like went out on dates and everything but then freaking it struck again and LA and everyone all these influencers are leaving LA like it's like it's not to be I already ranted on TikTok so I don't want to like rant on here too but like why is it so hard for people to just like you know like stay home or like you know be in reason like go for walks or whatever's open and available why do you need to fly and like cross contaminate like it's it's no joke but 
I, I really do think it, it just like if it if it's not affecting them then it doesn't like they don't care which is like really crappy humans like at the end of the day you're just like a really crappy person and like therefore i don't think those people should be supported it's one thing to be problematic controversial like not just because i am but like you know what i mean like but to be an actual shitty person where you like just don't care about like the world and like other people that you could possibly contaminate or kill like literally kill like it blows my mind <laughs> Um, cause I'm pretty selfish. I'm pretty selfish. I'm pretty self-absorbed and pretty much like I wanted to do what I want cause like I could be selfish and that's me. But this is like such a serious thing that I just couldn't even imagine these people that are just like flying to like Miami and the Bahamas and it's just like a lot. And then like not only are they being like selfish, right? They're being like completely self-absorbed and thinking like rules don't apply to them and they don't care if they infect other people. But they're like flaunting it, which I'm like... Like, do, do you really have to, like, show it? Like, okay, you, you you need to go on your vacation. But, like, that's, I guess, like, their argument is they're going for content. But, like, that's that's not an argument. I could, like, see, and I know I'm just saying this because I shot music videos, but, like, in L.A., like, filming is considered essential so, like, people can get back to work and, like, you know, be employed. And, like, even now I probably want to do it now that, like, because it really did go on, like, severe lockdown. And then I was like, okay, I probably want to do that now, even though we got everyone tested and we had COVID nurses on set. Like, these people aren't doing that for their TikTok collabs. There's no way. And if they would, they would show it. I show it on my vlogs. Like, I show COVID nurses, COVID testing. Like, it's expensive. It's hella expensive. So, like, are they paying $10,000 to choose these TikToks, you know, to have the COVID nurse on set? I doubt it. But aside from that, when you're just traveling and it's just content for your own selfish self, which you can do at home, like, you're not, you're not doing anything. You're not stimulating the economy. You're not doing anything other than being, like, an asshole. You know what I mean? I don't know maybe that's an unpopular opinion and maybe I just sound old or whatever that's like what everyone will say is like you're old you're 32 talking about like but they need someone obviously these people on TikTok like I mean I did I do TikTok rants all the time about like these 16 year old girls literally like dancing and like rubbing themselves and singing like f me and I can't wait to like all these like really like and like I said I'm no prude but like there's 18 and 19 barely legal adults that can do that that can sexualize themselves minors doing it especially when they're not even that that brand you know what I mean like that's not the path their lives I don't think are meant to go down like you can just tell by the person like I get worried for them because I'm like mm, this is gonna affect you forever this is gonna tarnish like your brand your reputation who you are as a person your mental health who like how you feel about yourself like it may seem cool and fun to be like mm, let me just be like so provocative and naughty and like hey if that's you and that's truly you in your heart and like that that's cool you know I was a sex worker from like before I was legal you know at 16 I was and love people love to use that too like when I talk about like how it's not cool to be a sugar baby how it's not cool to be like a hooker and stuff like that like for me they're like well you did that you were with 40 year old men when you were 16 it's like yes and that's my whole point is the 40 year old men's fault not the child I, I know what it's like to be 15 and wanting to date a 44 year old or something for money like I've been there because you think it's cool and you think like you're cool and you think but like that shit fucks you up <laughs> like it just does that's oh that's why I'm the perfect example to talk about it because like it wasn't my fault and like it took me years of therapy to realize that like I was like oh well everything was consensual like everything like I wanted like I liked it like I like but like it doesn't matter if you liked it you thought it was cool like you wanted to do that like it's illegal it's messed up because of the manipulation the power struggle the the mental abuse the like it's just it's just a lot even if it's not like abusive right like if they're just like controlling you or like putting things grooming you basically they're literally they groom you because your mind is not fully developed at 15 16 to make these decisions and like <laughs> like it's it's just so frustrating because like if you haven't lived that life if you haven't been that 15 year old that like now you look back and like I had a really great interview on my Dish with Trish podcast and I kept the interview up with Courtney Sodden. Um, she was a very public example of this at 15. She married this actor named Doug Hutchinson who was 52 or something. Got married like what and like she of course like loved it at the time. I'm sure she like I've talked with her and like we're very like we love Anna Nicole. We love that whole like phenomenon right and the glamour of it all and it like messed her up like I agree she really needs to write a book because she's like she was a very big example of it and like how everyone like glorified it and like all this crazy shit and like she's she's messed up because of it and it really like is like how do people like I don't know I wish more people would like talk about it and I feel like a lot of girls like unfortunately just like 
either don't make it out or like you know they stay corrupted or they stay thinking that they did something wrong that they were asking for it or you know well I liked it or I wanted it or I hit on him and like yeah you know what that could be the case like I'm, I came on to people that when I was like 14 that were like in their 40s and guess what like act, they acted on it and stuff but the, the, that wasn't my fault that's like the adults you need to you know it's just and again it's not even just all abuse like just just thinking you're having consensual love like me having like sex with someone like 40 right like when I'm like a teenager and a legal teenager like you think it's like love you think all this stuff and it like just warps you and that and I know there's there's gonna be the the young girls that are gonna be like mm, not me I know exactly what I'm getting into blah, blah, blah. but it's like do you you know I'm sorry I know this is like a heavy topic to end 2020 with but anyways I like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, and I love TikTok trends, but there's just not a lot of trends going around right now, or at least ones that I don't see. So sometimes I think like, what's my purpose on here? But hey, if my purpose is to be like, hey, 16 year olds, let's not sexualize ourselves super young. Like a lot, it can be very damaging. And I know you don't think that, but like, hey, I'm a prime example. Look at me. Like I'm not all together there. And like, you know what I mean? Like learn, <laughs> look at me as like what you could be. And I, like I said, like, I shouldn't even say that because I think I turned out like, pretty all right considering circumstances that I like put myself in or been in or whatever um but yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know I feel like I, I don't want to be that prude either but like hey if you're 18 19 like it's barely I, I, I don't think you should be doing sex work either I think you should be a lot older before you make that decision like 25 or whatever see what you have to offer the world see what the world has to offer to you and like hey if you're still like hey I really want to be this like some people like, I saw Lana Rhodes interview and she, like, I just knew I was going to be a porn star. And, like, hey, if that's your calling and you're 18 and legal, I guess do it. But I would never thought I would ever do porn in my life, you know? I was like, no, like, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then, like, later on, I was like, okay, this is fun. And, um, you know, something that made sense, especially, like, obviously with all the other stuff I was putting out there and kind of my brand and who I was. And also, and also I just liked it and enjoyed it or whatever. But I would only do it on my terms and I wouldn't do it for, like, a company because I know that. I've heard horror stories of girls who had to work for companies and agencies and just crazy shit. But, like, I do think you need to be a lot older. I was 31 when I started it. You know what I mean? And that was, even then, I was like, mm, this is, you know, this is a big step. Because once it's out there, it's out there. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. I think you should be at least, like, 22, 23 before you decide to do, like, any sort of sex work. Stripping, I think, is is it was kind of traumatizing for me but I think under the circumstances of like what was happening in my life at the time I think it's maybe the most harmless of sex work you know but definitely if you're underage and don't like just leave that for people who are 18 to sexualize themselves if they like want to I guess but even that age I still stand by the the truth that you're not fully developed mentally till you're 25 and I don't say that as like a diss or like I'm better I'm so much older it's like getting older is a privilege and I'm very honored that I made it to 32 I really I literally I went to psychic so like you won't make it past 32 so it's, it is a privilege to get older but at the same time like enjoy your youth like yeah I freaking wish I was 16 and I wish I could do it I wish I could do it differently for sure I wish like so much I wish I had social media back then you know but I feel like when you do become older, you have a certain obligation to speak up. Like, I just wish someone would have told me, like, Anna Nicole's life wasn't glamorous, right? Like, we all know that now or whatever after the show. But I wish, like, growing up, someone would be like, mm, she's on a lot of drugs and they're kind of, like, pushing. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I try to be really, like, open. Like, with my pro struggles and problems and, like, all that stuff like that. And everyone... So watch there's so many problems and it's like yeah I do but I'm gonna keep sharing them because I want people to know like it's not even now you know even with like money and you know stuff like that like I feel like for the first time I'm finally getting my like life together and like oh, figuring out like my life and like realizing like what was okay what wasn't okay in my life and like not dwelling on it but just being like okay that wasn't okay I'm recognizing this like this you know Kind of connecting the pieces um but you know i'm like i'm not a priority either like i'm so supportive of sex workers and if that's what you want to do and you're living life and you're loving it like good for you you know
Okay, lip injections coming there. So, on that note, <laughs> Let's hear hope to 2021 being a better year. It sure needs to be. Um, if you made it through this year, congratulations. If you're watching this, we made it. We did it. We did it, Joe. What does that sound from? I always hear it. We did it, Joe. Mm, I guess I could like brush my hair. I was brushing it earlier when I was drying it, but I also don't know where. A brush is oh gosh it's way back there and the juice is on its way we ordered juice aha uh -huh. I always bedazzled my Mason Pearson brushes because these would always disappear and I get it Mason Pierce's Pearson brushes all look the same so that's why I bedazzled it and guess what it hasn't disappeared since okay I did get this ghost oil for your hair because I know my hair be hella dry at the bottom. I want to go more blonde, not like not like yellow blonde like I was before, just a little more shades of blonde. I liked the chunky highlights for a second. Like it was a cute look. I've always wanted to do it. I'm glad I did it, but now I'm kind of like, okay, I'm gonna get some of them. I'm gonna get some of them highlights back. You know what I'm saying? But stay safe out there this New Year's. You, New Year's. You know, everyone's inside. Stay inside because everyone else is doing it. And honestly, like. You look stupid if you're posting on social media that you're at a party. You look like you're literally a terrible human being, which you probably are if you're trying to like endanger other people's like lives and shit just to have a party. <laughs> I know I sound old. I'm like, oh my god, this 32 year old. Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you better wish you're still on social media when you're 32. That's what I say to all these young influencers. Where are you gonna be at 32? Because I'll tell you what, influencers that I came up with, or even influencers that were way bigger than me. No shade to anyone who works anywhere, but like, you know, they'd be having not the glow up. You know what I mean? They'd be having a humble real quick. So like everyone just coming for me. I respect all hustles, but also, you know, don't get too entitled. This shit gets taken away fast from people. Being a social media person is a privilege. It really is because it's based on viewers and who watches you and who fucks with you. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Just kidding, don't smoke, it's bad for your lungs. Okay. So, we made that a little, I was like, I think I have pretty good volume in my hair. So I was trying to do it, but then I like, I look, sometimes I watch it back, I'm like, okay, it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, do you guys remember when I had like no hair? Like, it's insane to me that I have any hair at all. Like 2020 also saved my hair, just not bleaching it and wearing more wigs and stuff. It's been, so it's kind of almost like great that I don't even need oil, but let's put some in. What do you do? Just spray it? Or is it like a sleek thing? Mm -hmm. That's just hair oil. So let's just, it looks like you kind of. Oh, yes. Okay. This is actually good because you, oh, you have control over the ends. So the whole thing doesn't get oily. Especially around the face. Oh my gosh. I'm going to need it so much better. Wow. Oh my gosh. Why does it look like I actually have a hairstyle and not just like barely their hair pieces? Okay, glowing up. 32 years old and I have, I have hair. I kind of look like a Rachel a little bit, right? Mm hmm. 
cute. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This is very exciting. Um, we got together. We got ready together in 2020, and then that's a really big accomplishment. So my biggest flex going into 2021, I don't feel like a total slob. <laughs> I love you guys. Be safe. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye. <laughs>